Hi viewers, Namaste. In this video, we will discuss how to draw the payoff drawings. By the end of this video, you will for sure get the full basics and will be in a position to read and understand any payoff diagram you come across. So, welcome to the world of Get Ready. Apart from the payoff diagram, if you treat this as an interactive video, I will be giving some pause before answers. If you can answer before I do, it shows how strong you are in basics. Okay, let's start. Right. This payoff diagrams are nothing but graphical representation of profits and losses for different expiry prices and for a given expiration time. For example, see this. Let's draw for normal equity market as a buyer. With increase in price, your profit increases, right? Directly proportional increase and with fall in price, your profit decreases or losses increases, right? Same with futures long too. In the same way, if you are short in future or a seller in equities intraday, with rise in price, the loss increases and with fall in price, the profit increases, right? This graph is nothing but payoff diagram. If you think this is so simple, then options payoff drawings is also simple. You just need to watch this video with concentration. So shall we start? For this payoff diagrams, vertical axis, we can call it as Y axis 2, is always potential profit and loss representing axis. Center line is 0, that is no profit and no loss region. And top zone is profit zone, below zone is loss zone. Next, this horizontal axis, that is X axis, is market price, market price at expiry. First, we will see call option buyers profit and loss in this payoff drawing. This can also be called as risk or reward profile. Okay, 100 CE at 10 buyer. What does this mean? Call option bought at 100 strike price for 10 rupees premium. Now, if on expiry, current market price closes at 100, what is your profit or loss? He loses his premium, right? So, loss is 10 rupees. Now, if this closes at 105 rupees, did the buyer made profit? No. If he exercises the option, he gets 5 rupees profit, but since he had paid premium of 10 rupees, his loss is 5 rupees. Understood? So, when does he make break even? When at expiry, underlying asset price should be equal to strike price plus premium amount. Of course, if we ignore transaction charges, brokerages, taxes, etc. So, where is the break even in this case? Strike price 100 plus premium 10, so 110 rupees. Now, if the price closes at 90 rupees, the loss is 10 rupees. If it closes at 75 rupees, the loss is 25 rupees, right? Wrong. It's only 10 rupees. Why? Because option buyer loss is restricted to premium only. If you still have doubts on to why, please consider watching all of our videos in this playlist, one by one. Link can be found in the i symbol above and the description box below. Okay, if price closes at 115 rupees, profit is 5 rupees. How? After exercising, he gets 15 rupees profit, but he lost 10 rupees premium, right? So, 5 rupees profit. If price closes at 125 rupees, the profit is 15 rupees and so on. Okay, the line connecting all these points is nothing but payoff diagram for call option buy side. This is loss region and this is profit region. You can see clearly unlimited profit and limited loss. Profit is increasing with increase in price, but when the price falls, loss is only restricted to 10 rupees. Limited loss. Hope you got it. Next, for the same 100 strike price, let us see call option sellers payoff diagram who got a premium of 10 rupees. You may feel bored by 110, but this will be simple way to make you understand. Once you are done with this video, please practice with other prices which gives you confidence. Right, back to diagram. If for this contract and at expiry, the price closes at 100 rupees, even if it is closed at the money, the option buyer will not be interested in exercising the contract. And so you will be left with the premium of 10 rupees given by option buyer. So the profit is 10 rupees. If it closes at 105 rupees, the profit decreases to 5 rupees. 
you must yourself think why. Okay, if the price closes at 110 rupees, then option seller should exercise the contract, which makes him lose 10 rupees. But since he had 10 rupees, which is received as premium, this price is no profit, no loss price for him. Break even point. If price closes at 90 rupees, seller profit is 10 rupees. If it closes at 75 rupees, profit is 25 rupees, is it? No, option seller profit is only limited to the premium, so 10 rupees. If price closes at 115 rupees, loss is 5 rupees. If it closes at 125 rupees, it's definitely loss, and by how much? 15 rupees. By exercising contract, he gets 25 rupees loss. But since he had received the premium of 10 rupees, which is non returnable, combining both loss is 15 rupees. Now, connecting all points and drawing the line is nothing but the graph, that is, payoff diagram of call option seller. Next, put option buyer at 100 rupees strike price, who paid a premium of 10 rupees. Chalo, let's draw this first. If at expiry the price is 100 rupees, your loss is 10 rupees. If it closes at 95 rupees, loss is 5 rupees. If it closes at 90 rupees, no profit, no loss. Break even point. If this price closes at 85 rupees, he is now in profit and by 5 rupees. Now, for out of the money, if the price closes at 125 rupees, your loss is 10 rupees, not more than that. If your contract becomes in the money, for example, 80 rupees, your profit is 10 rupees. If it closes at 75, your profit is 15 rupees and so on. Profit rises with rise in price from the break even point that is 90 rupees. But the loss is restricted to the premium only. Unlimited profit, limited loss. Next, let us see the payoff diagram for 100 PE at the rate of 10 contract seller. Now, even fast. Where is the break even? 90 rupees. Where does the profit starts? When the price moves from this point, right? So, if the price closes at 95 rupees, profit is 5 rupees. If it closes at 100 rupees, the profit is 10 rupees. Okay. Your loss starts from price falling more than this, 90. So, if it closes at 80 rupees, your loss is 10 rupees. Again, profit side. If this price is closed at 110 rupees, your profit is 10 rupees. If this is closed at 125 rupees, even now your profit is 10 rupees, as maximum profit is only 10 rupees, premium for option seller. Now, loss side. If price closes at 75, your loss is 15 rupees and increases with decrease in price. So, the line which connects all these points is the payoff diagram of option seller. Once more, if you observe, we can clearly know why we say that option seller has limited profit but is exposed to unlimited loss. This fears is all about payoff diagrams. Hope you have understood all the info required. These are thought to be just basics. Actually, these are drawn and observed for combination of options like strangle, straddle, etc. Even more than that, using adjustments, etc. So, to become ready for all those we publish, Please practice this basic stuff and be ready. Let us meet in our next video. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. If you are looking for a best stock broker, we recommend you Fire Securities. If you wish to open your account with Fires, please click on the link in the description box below and submit your details in the page opened. Have a happy, safe and profitable trading. Jai Hind.